Hey y'all, okay, I'm gonna do a quick video on perms or relaxers. Um, are they good? Or are they bad? Um, what kind I use? What do y'all think is a good brand? Um, the chemicals, the history about my hair, if you about to put color in it, if you just take your braids out, um, what age should you get one, um, try not to use any heat, and if you're not using heat and you're not getting perms, what can you do? Okay, perm, relaxer, whichever one you want to call it. Um, are they good or are they bad? I think they're good for if you want to use them. But I think it's bad that you're going to put all those chemicals in your hair. Um, what kind I used to use? I used to use olive oil. And I'm not saying getting a perm is horrible because I've been getting perms since second grade. Far as back as I can remember. I've been getting perms all the time. And, you know, I feel that i'm older now and you know i'm just coming to realize like my hair just does not need perming or a relaxer to it i feel that my hair you know is still straight without me having to put a perm in it and i feel like my hair has grown a lot more since i haven't been putting perms in it i looked at my perm and I've grown about that much since I haven't gotten one and it's been about three months about three or four months since I had and it's grown that much so like all this is like curly then it goes straight so I feel like not getting a perm for me is better and then if you have you know highlights in your hair or you want to get highlights and then you also still get perms i feel like that's a bad combination i feel like excuse me i feel like if you want a perm and you want highlights as well do not mix them together wait about three to four weeks in between um you also want to make sure you know if you put highlights in your hair make sure you know, you put a good moisturizer in your hair or conditioner, leave-in conditioner is always the best thing for that. And you don't want to even add more heat to that. So another good thing is if you're not getting a perm, then you want to use bobby pins and pin curl your hair or use rollers and sleep in them. Or you might just want to wrap your hair like I did. I used rollers at the top and I just wrapped the rest of it. And I'm going to show you in a couple of videos after this um how to pin curl your hair by that's just using bobby pins and rolling it with bobby pins and um how to do a boston wrap and that's just wrapping it partly and then having the top with big curls so that's another couple of videos that i want to show y'all and i feel like you know, if you need a perm, then go for it. But, you know, like when it comes to textures of hair, who is to judge what hair texture you should have or what texture, you know, looks good on you? I just feel like, you know, if you can go without a perm, I feel that's better now. I used to get a perm every two months. The type of perm kit that I had was olive oil. Um... That relaxer was good for me. I would recommend it to anybody that is trying to use a perm. And it's a home kit, so you can, you know, buy it from Walmart for like $5, I think. I don't remember how much it was. But I feel like that's a really good perm kit. And it puts the instructions in there. And it shows you, you know, how to, you know put it on evenly and divide it in four parts and all that um if you have a good flat iron you're probably not going to need a perm it might take longer to straighten but if you just set aside okay every friday because i know i'm going to go out i'm going to straighten my hair then from friday till that all the week around 
maybe Thursday night or Friday morning, you'll straighten your hair again. But try not to put heat. That's my goal for you is try not to put heat to your hair because it will also make it healthier. So use it once a week, once a week. And, you know, the best trick for me to not use my flat iron is to put it in a drawer or, you know, so I can't see it. So I know every night before I go to bed, I wrap my hair like this and I won't use heat to it. Um, if you've had braids, I would not recommend you getting a perm right after you take out your braids. Your scalp will burn and, you know, you might be able to, you know, toughen it out and go on and get the perm, but for your scalp to save that, you know, I would say wait a week if you can. If you can't wait a, wait a week to get a perm, then at least wait two to three days before you get a perm wash it and everything condition it have leave-in conditioner but try not to get a perm after you take out your braids because it's it's gonna burn um what age to start getting a perm i started getting mine in like second grade but i feel like the longer you wait the better um, I guess middle school would be a good age to start getting a perm. But really, if your hair doesn't need it, I wouldn't suggest getting it. Now, if your hair is puff, if you get puffs, I think that's cute. If your hair is really curly, that's cute. I feel like it's just depending on the person and are they comfortable with their hair. Or some people might get it to make it more manageable. I feel like if you're getting it for a good reason, not just getting it just to be getting it or just to try to see what will happen, I feel like that's a bad reason. Or just because you're tired of, you know, straightening your hair and you think it's just going to do wonders. I feel like a perm can only last so long, so you're going to have to keep getting perms after that or your hair is going to be, you know, a different texture and you're going to have to get used to dealing with that new texture after the perm. But, um, I guess subscribe and comment and let me know what y'all think about getting perms and, you know, what do y'all use if you do get a perm? I use olive oil once again, and it's like in a beige green box, so, um, I call them perms. You might call them relaxers, but y'all know what I'm talking about, so... I guess um, just let me know what y'all think. Bye.